This video is on measurement. So I'm going to start with metric measurement because that is what you are probably most used to. And on a metric ruler, what we have are millimeters as our base unit. And we have multiples of 10. So for example, 10 millimeters equals one centimeter. And if you take those 10 centimeters, that gives us one decimeter. And if you take those 10 decimeters, you get one meter. And 1,000 meters is one kilometer. So it's all based on multiples of 10. And if we look at the actual ruler, if you look here, there's zero and there's 10. Now that's 10 millimeters. So each one of those is one millimeter. So since 10 millimeters equals one centimeter, that distance right there between there, even though it's 10 centimeters, sorry, even though it's 10 millimeters is the equivalent of one centimeter. And if we take 10 of those, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, that distance from there to there is one decimeter. Just like we said here, 10 centimeters equals one decimeter. Now when it comes to our answer, always leave it as a decimal. So for example, if my reading was right here, let's say right there, okay, I have, I could say I have 34, oh sorry, 33 millimeters, or I could say I have 1, 2, 3.3 centimeters. But our answer is going to be whole numbers like this, okay? So that is metric measurement. That's the easiest one. Now, imperial measurement. This is a little harder because we're dealing with fractions of an inch. And in a fraction, so here's one half, okay? So we have a numerator, a denominator, and when it comes to our answer, we're going to leave our reading as a fraction. So for example, maybe my answer is three inches and another half inch. So I'm not going to write this as 3.5, no. I'm going to leave it as a fraction if my answer was three and a half. Now when it comes to actually reading the ruler, we got to keep in mind of what these spaces represent. And if you'll notice, all the spaces are the same distance apart, but the length of the line is different here. And that length of line indicates if, the read, if that spacing is a sixteenth of an inch, an eighth of an inch, a quarter of an inch, or a half an inch. So for example, if this was an apple, all right, right there, that one inch, that's one inch. If that was an apple, and I want to cut it right in half so we each have an equal amount of apple, right, I'd do it right in the middle. So we'd each have one half. So there's a half, and there's a half, right? So that longest line right there represents halves, okay? So that's this, halves. The second longest line represents quarters. So if I go up here, there's the half. That's a quarter. That's a quarter. Okay. Now, if I take that distance right there, which is one inch again, all right. So here's one quarter. Here's the next quarter. That's a quarter. There's another quarter. So that's three quarters. And 
And lastly, the fourth quarter gives us our full inch. So this here, what I want to do with this, okay, I shouldn't have wrote that like that, sorry. Okay, so we have one quarter, there's our second quarter, our next quarter, and our last quarter. So there's one quarter, and here is two quarters. But what I want to point out is if we can reduce our answer, we always reduce it. So we're going to reduce answer to lowest common denominator. All right, to the lowest common. So well, we've got to look at this and say two quarters. Is there something that will go into two and also go into four? And there is, the number two. Two goes into two once. Two goes into four twice. So two quarters can be reduced down to its lowest common denominator, which is one half. So it goes quarter, half, three quarters, and then there's our full inch. We can also go down to eighths. So if we go from here to here, there's one inch. From there to there is one eighth. From there to there is another eighth. That's two eighths. But we say to ourselves, can two eighths be reduced? Yes, it can. Two goes into two once. Two goes into eight four times. So that's actually one quarter. And then we got three eighths, four eighths, which can be reduced to one half, five eighths, six eighths, which can be reduced to three quarters, seven eighths, and one inch. So that's eighths. So there's Eight, for eighths, there's eight one-eighth divisions equals one inch. Eight eighths equals one inch. Four quarters equals one inch. Two halves equals one inch. And then we get to sixteenths, which is the smallest division, and sixteen of those will equal one inch. So if we look right here, that little space right there, that's one-sixteenth right in there, okay? Two sixteenths, which is the same as one eighth. Three sixteenths, four sixteenths. Four sixteenths is the same as one quarter. Remember, we always reduce when we can. Five sixteenths, seven sixteenths, or eight sixteenths, so forth onwards. Twelve sixteenths, which can be reduced to three quarters till we get to one full inch. So, it's a lot harder to read than metric. So what I want you to do, if you don't know how to read an imperial ruler, and let's say I asked you to tell me what the value of this amount is right there, I'm going to always use a sixteenth ruler, where the smallest little division is one sixteenth of an inch. So what you can do is you always start at zero. Here's zero, right? There's one full inch, two full inches, three full inches. So my answer is going to start with three to begin with. Now I got to figure out what that amount is worth. Just read sixteenths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we got eight sixteenths. And then say to yourself, is there a number that will go into eight as well as sixteen? And there is, the number eight. Eight goes into eight once. Eight goes into sixteen twice. So Eight sixteenths can be reduced down to one half. So my answer is three and one half. You always reduce if it's possible. So this is three and a half, and always put the little inch symbol beside it. This symbol represents inches. Okay, three and a half inches. So that is the correct answer for that one. Let's do one more. Let's say right uh, here. So if I asked you, what is the value from zero to that amount right there, that little arrow? Well, we got 
one full inch, two, three, four, five. So right now we got five inches and then count sixteenths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's at ten sixteenths. Is there a number that will go into ten as well as sixteen? And there is. It's two. Two goes into ten five times. Two goes into sixteen eight times. So that's the reduced fraction, five eighths. So my answer here is five and five eighths inches. Don't forget the inch symbol. And always leave your answer as a fraction. So there we go. Okay? That is the, until you get used to reading an imperial ruler where you can just use your eyes and say, oh, that's five eighths. Oh, that's half inch. Oh, that's quarter inch. Do it this way where you count over the sixteenths from the last whole number and you'll always get the right answer. So that is a little video to show you an imperial ruler and how to read it and a metric ruler and how to read it and give you some basic terminology. So metric is multiples of 10 and imperial is fractions of an inch where you have divisions of sixteenths, eighths, quarters, halves. There are imperial rulers that will go even further to smaller divisions yet. 30 seconds, 60 fourths, and 128 ths But in the auto shop, I'm not going to go any smaller than a sixteenth of an inch. I hope you found this useful and you can refer back to it anytime you need to.